What's up everybody? Today we're doing a gun review on the Browning A5. Let's go. Alright, thanks for joining me today everybody. Today we're going to do a gun review on the most treasured piece of equipment that a duck hunter, quail hunter, or any type of trap hunter, skeet, whatever you do with the shotgun, this is the weapon of choice for me right here. This is a Browning A5 in the Max 5 pattern right here and it is a slaying machine right here. Let's just start from the back end here and kind of work our way forward real quick. I don't make this too long but I noticed there really wasn't a, too many reviews out there on this gun and this is by far the best shotgun I've ever shot. I've shot Franke's and I've shot a bunch of different high-end, super high-end guns and by far this has been my gun of choice here. Now I've had this gun for three years now. The reason I waited to do a review till now is because I wanted to give it some time. It's been through three duck seasons. It's been through hail, rain, heat, everything you can think of and it has held up amazing. I've had some buddies that uh, have Benelli's and not so much. Now they're going to be watching this and probably have some comments to make but anyways here we go. So first off on the back end, they call the uh, Inflex technology here on the back end. I'd say it's about yeah, about an inch thick. It's, it's very soft, but it still doesn't mean it's going to absorb a lot of the kick on these guns, but this does a really good job. I really like it. And then when we get up here, it's, you know, Browning's famous for the gold trigger. So we got the gold trigger here. You're safe. Fire. I am going to show you guys a demonstration on loading this. The action is very smooth here super smooth you can actually remove that and uh, put it in out for cleaning one of the things that I really like about this is the quick reload I can't tell you how many times I've shot three shells and a bird's still right there get another one in and do the quick reload real quick to keep the action open right under here in front of the trigger you click that boom okay it stays open just like any other shotgun and then you got your release right here but I want to show you something here. Let me grab a shell. I can't tell you how many times that I've had to do this right here. And maybe I'll show a shot from here and then a close up. Like I said, you shoot three, let's say you knock two or three birds down, you've shot three shells. You want another one in there. This is the gun to have to get that fourth shot off super quick. We're going to have this open. All right, everything's open. Most guys would throw it in right here. Release the action. Boom, you're loaded, okay? That doesn't mean when you drop that shell in that it's going to be perfectly lined up. You may have to drop it back, you may have to twist it, and then maybe have a malfunction or something like that. But if you open this rear lever, have, open that real quick, and you drop your shell. Now watch this. This is where I get teased all the time because I can't stand that this does this. Now watch. I'm going to push it through the bottom end, okay? Watch what happens here. Did you see that? You didn't see it, did you? Because it was too fast. Let me show you that again. Oh my goodness. That wasn't just the main selling point for me right there. I, I, I have used that, okay? It's not a, um, a hoax still. It's not a feature that you're not going to use. You will use it if you are hunting game or you're hunting ducks or whatever it may be that you're doing, okay? Next off, I want to talk about the grip on this gun. The grip on this gun is amazing. How many times you've been out there duck hunting, and, and I'm focused on that because that's what I do mainly, or let's say you're hunting quail, or you're dove hunting, whatever, and maybe it starts raining. Most shotguns are going to have, your hands are going to slip and slide, your hands are wet, you're trying to shoot, keep a good grip, you always want to on a shotgun, but you can't because it's wet. Well, the technology that they put on this thing is super grippy. So on the buttstock, it has that grip on it, especially on the handle here. And then this whole end right here is that grip. It's, it's almost like rubber. When I buy a shotgun and I pull the gun up, quick, there's a bird right there. I want to pull the gun up. 
I don't want to have to tilt my head over. When I'm looking down, I don't want to have to have my head tilt over. When I pull up a shotgun, I want it to be right there in frame, head or right down the barrel. And that's exactly what you want. And that's what I like because the Browning A5 is a humpback style. My dad had an old Browning A5 and that's what drew me to this one. The first time I picked one up and looked right down the barrel, everything lined up, boom, that's where it is. This is an awesome shotgun, guys. You can't go wrong. Let me show you what else it, that it, the, the gun comes in when you buy it from the gun store. Okay, it comes in this nice case right here. It's a little dusty. It's been under my bed. I've had it for three years, like I said. So it comes in a super nice hard case. It's hard, super hard plastic. Next, it comes with three extensions. Basically, what it is on the butt of the gun and the trigger pull is not where it needs to be and you're getting cheek slop. You can throw these in there with it, okay? But then it comes with the choke case show you inside here and it comes with three chokes it comes with the modified that's in the gun already then it comes with the full and it's labeled on it. it's not like these chokes that you gotta guess because of the slots in the front of it this actually says right on it and I, I want to remind everybody that you cannot shoot still out of a, uh, a full choke it's, it says right on here lead full that's the only thing you can shoot out of it now notice this on these chokes you got this copper piece right here and that helps for expansion and for your uh, choke not getting stuck sometimes I've had it you know where you go to unscrew your choke back out can't get it out then we got the improved cylinder which if you're shooting um, lead out of that it'd be improved cylinder so quarter and then if you're shooting still it'd be modified half now one other point real quick and we'll probably end it here these are in vector DS these are in Vector DS. So when you ever go to buy one, these are kind of a specialty choke tube. And you can pretty much get them anywhere. But it is in Vector DS, so you got to watch that. You can't put the wrong choke in there. And once again, super happy with this Browning A5. Honestly, the best shotgun I've ever owned. And I've, like I said, I have shot a lot of different shotguns. And I'm, I love this gun. Three years, no issues. So anyways, that's it for the Browning A5. Hope you liked this review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Like this video, and I'll see you next time.